good of keys and Lip here back with another OBS video and today we're having a cheeky little look at OBS WebSocket 4.9. It's not out as of right now but it's getting so close to release they're just cleaning it all up. I've been using the pre-release for a little bit. If you've been over at my streams you will have seen it. It is so good there are so many great features so let's take a look at some of them alright. Put your rock over the stone let's go. So anything in this video is pretty much for all you advanced users out there. I mean, we are going to see updates from Leoran board. I've got a video on that. I'm working on the pre-release at the moment. So I'm pulling a video together. So make sure you are subscribed for that. And also you've got BQ bot that are going to be using a lot of this fe these features that have been added in WebSocket 4.9. I mean, there is a detailed protocol reference that has been updated pre-release on this website. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. And this has got pretty much all the information that we want to speak about all my favorite things that I'm finding in 4.9 at the moment as you can see there's tons of things that they've put in there and it is going to blow you away some of the things on there okay so the first thing that I want to talk about is creating sources and scenes so remember all the things that I've been creating inside of Leoran board and creating all these like uh like overlays, alert packages, little bits that show up on your screen. I mean, I'm going to leave a link to some of them videos down below. I'm currently updating them right now, so you guys don't have to do anything. All you got to do is download the config file, press install, and it'll even put all the sources, all the scenes, all the filters, and it'll set everything up directly in your OBS without having to do anything. You don't have to do any naming of scenes, any creating of sources. It just does absolutely everything for you, which is insane. So the next thing that I want to talk about is the media control that has been added to WebSocket 4.9. Honestly, this is so powerful. So if... Yeah, I've got a great example here for you. So we've got a media source that's in OBS just here, as you can see. It's just a standard media source, which is my video that I've got just here. I'm going to press OK, and it's going to start playing. As you can see right now, open up my Leoran board. I can press pause. I can pause that media source. You can choose whichever media source you want to pause. Press play. Pause it again. If I want to stop it and turn it off completely, I can do. Restart it. Pause. Play. Pause. Play. I think you're getting the gist. And that can be on any source at all, which is super useful. So as a little tie onto that, you can actually use the VLC media source to control playlists a lot better as well. So here's an example I've got for you here. Uh, I've got three videos in this playlist at the moment. So if I open up my commands that I've created just here, I can pause it like I did before. I can play. I can also press next to go to the next video, go to the previous video as well. So I can loop the playlist as much as I want, pause it whenever I want, press play, obviously stop and restart like I did previously. And you also have the option to be able to set what time to set it to so if you have a look at my time frame just down here you'll be able to see if i press set to 10 seconds it'll move to 10 seconds set to a minute it'll move to a minute into the video as well set 10 seconds it'll move back they could do that next as well set to a minute moves a minute on into the video uh, it's same with pretty much anything skip the intro all that sort of stuff you can control via websocket now so not only can you control your media sources, you can also read events as well. So when certain things happen or you've pressed something to or a separate source is paused or played an audio source or, or something like that, you can read that information as well via WebSocket to create custom commands to happen and stuff like that as well. Another cool little bit they've added is refresh browser sources. So previously I did a video quite a while ago now, a couple of months ago, the Excel drone made a script to, to refresh browser sources, but now you can send an OBS WebSocket command. So here's a brief example. I've created a, a basic button just here and I've got my browser source just here as well. If I press refresh browsers, you'll see the whole of YouTube just resets just like so. Every time that I press it, it refreshes that whole browser source. So if any of your browser sources keep sticking or anything like that, or your alerts aren't working through stream elements or, or anything like that, you can just refresh at a touch of a button, which is pretty handy. So that's a brief look at some of the probably biggest features that are coming in OBS WebSocket 4.9. There are a couple of other things that are coming as well, like um, getting transition settings and positions and things like that, things to help you inside of studio mode in OBS. I, I'm not one to really use too much of studio mode, if I'm honest. I should probably use it a little bit more. And some big stuff as well, which is getting the uh, recording status and replay buffer status so you can uh, have a little buttons to tell you when you've 
turn them on on your stream deck or something like that and also the trigger hotkeys so any hotkeys that you might have inside of OBS uh, to do certain functions rather than actually pressing the hotkey now you can tell WebSocket to press that hotkey for you which is pretty cool I mean I'm not sure what I'm going to use that for because WebSocket pretty much does everything as it is especially now we've got all the uh, media functions as well and last but not least there is also an execute batch function which you, you're probably not all going to use this one but it's pretty handy if you're doing a multitude of things so rather than sending a bunch of different commands through WebSocket you can just send one command with a bunch of commands inside and it just makes it streamline the whole process and everything like that I've not kind of done any uh, experimentation with them too much because it's not something that I really tend to use but let me know what you you guys are so hyped for in OBS WebSocket 4.9 uh, I can tell you right now the media one for me no in fact create a scene create a source you can't beat it that is the best thing I have ever seen Right, so that's the end of this video. If you guys do want to help support me and make uh, with me, I make it, they get, I'm making just Patreon in it, right? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. Put your rock over the stone. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.